This video has been designed to help you understand your StarMed Thyroid Radiofrequency Ablation RFA procedure. We will focus on what to expect on the day of your procedure. StarMed Thyroid RFA is a relatively common procedure performed thousands of times each year around the world. The procedure can be performed in a hospital setting or an outpatient clinic. The procedure time is variable, but you can typically expect the entire process, including preparation, to take less than one hour. To prepare for the procedure, you will need to remove long pants and neck coverings, jewelry, glasses, and removable dental appliances. You will be fully awake during the procedure. However, some patients may be given medicine to help relax. You will then lie down comfortably on the procedure table with your neck extended slightly. Before the procedure, your thyroid is examined with ultrasound imaging to locate and measure the dimensions of your thyroid nodule. Preparation for the StarMed Thyroid RFA procedure is now ready to begin. Two grounding pads will be placed on your thighs. Your thighs may be shaved if necessary. Your neck will then be cleaned and disinfected to avoid infection. The thyroid capsule has sensory nerves that can feel pain. Some numbing medication may be administered before local anesthesia is injected into the skin with a thin needle. You may feel a prick when the local anesthesia is injected. However, there is usually not a significant amount of pain with this procedure. Under ultrasound guidance, the StarMed RFA electrode is now inserted and positioned into the targeted nodule. The RFA system is activated. The doctor will perform the procedure by moving the electrode throughout the nodule and monitoring the status of the ablation using real-time ultrasound imaging. During the procedure, the doctor or nurse may ask you to speak from time to time to ensure that you are comfortable and to detect any voice changes. Some patients may hear a popping sound, which is common and completely normal. Ear pain and jaw pain are also possible side effects of this procedure. You should let your doctor know if you experience any of these symptoms. Once the nodule is treated completely, the doctor will perform a final ultrasound scan to ensure the best possible results. Once satisfied, the electrode and grounding pads will be removed, the insertion site will be cleaned, and a small bandage will be applied. You will then be observed for around one hour before being examined to check for any side effects and to go over any final questions. You are then able to go home and continue your normal activities the next day. It is recommended to apply an ice pack to help with any swelling and to take pain medication if needed. In the first few days after the procedure, you may experience mild pain at the ablation site and notice that the nodule feels hard to touch. If you have any concerns, please contact your doctor. Your doctor will usually recommend a follow-up of 1, 3, 6, and 12 months to check the volume reduction and overall success of the thyroid RFA procedure. Feel free to ask questions and discuss any concerns you may have with your doctor. From all of us at RFA for Life and Tae Woong Medical USA, we hope that you have found this video informative and wish you the best of success with your upcoming thyroid RFA procedure.